would have waited four to six weeks right. for a custom window that goes all the way across um, for four hundred dollars, or we take this one for seventy dollars. <laughs> Okay, so, hello. <laughs> this is the video um, that I told you last Tuesday that I was going to do, which is about the bathroom. There is gonna be one about this kitchen, by the way, but I'm angling the camera in such a way so you can't see what the part two is. 2.0. What? Well, that's not fair. Anyway, so this video, like I promised you, is going to be about the guest bathroom. We changed it up. It's so much different than what it was. Sorry, I'm like getting dressed in front of you. We are going to show you like what it was before, why we changed it, just and just the way it looks now. It's just a pure bathroom makeover. But it is lunchtime, and I want to eat. We need to eat before all of that. You don't know HelloFresh. I think this is our third year. This is coming to the end of our third year with HelloFresh. We buy their meals every single week. Okay, so just so you know, we do purchase those meals and it's been a lifesaver to help us with deciding, you know, what to eat. Cause you know, I was always eating the same things. We would cook the same things, get bored, would spend a fortune on takeaways or eating out, which not many of us do anymore anyway, as far as like eating out, you know, so it, it's just saved us. It, it's one thing less to have to think about. So I'm just gonna quickly go through what it's like using HelloFresh. Um, this part of the video is sponsored by them and I'm quite happy and proud to do that because like I said, we are HelloFresh customers, three years running. I've shown you Michael cooking on my stories loads of times. I'll insert some footage here if you've not seen it before. But one of the reasons that I've actually enjoyed and we have enjoyed um, just cooking with HelloFresh is because it takes out having to go to the supermarket, right? All the time. Because it just comes to you. So you don't have to like schlep all the way there and back also there's been a lot less waste because when we used to buy food from the supermarket all the time there was always stuff that would spoil we never would cook everything and i hate having to throw things away that spoil and that happened a lot so at least this way everything everything comes pre pork everything comes like all pre-portioned out like into the right size so you use everything that they give you for each meal so there's zero waste oh and also you can skip meals because everything comes once a week for us but we're actually thinking about going away. We just decided, like, we talked about it properly last night that we're thinking about actually going away over the Christmas, New Year's time. We're gonna just pause HelloFresh meals so they won't come for those three weeks or two weeks, however long we're gone, gone away. And then when we're back, we just, you know, take it off a pause and then the meals continue to come back. Put the salt and pepper and the oil all into a bowl before I put it onto the sheet. Oh. And that way it coats the beans and everything really well. Um, I think the biggest benefit that we have had from using HelloFresh now for three years is being able to cook. I'm just gonna leave it at that because- Learning how to cook. Learn, yeah. Learning how to cook? Yeah, and I always learn something, to be honest with you, I learn something new all the time. You know, because there's always a dish in there that you haven't tried. I think because the, the recipes are very, very easy to follow, so, and they have pictures and everything, so it's kind of like, it's like cooking for dummies. So wives, if you want to get your husband to cook, this is what you need to do. By the way, I do cook. So I know, I know a lot of you have said, like, especially on Instagram, <laughs> you've said like, don't you cook, Karen? Yes, I do. But look who's holding the camera. Look. Well, you can't see it, but I am. When I'm cooking, he's not. He doesn't film me. He's like in the living room or upstairs. So I'm by myself and which is not boohoo, but I'm just saying I don't film. <laughs> I can't, I don't film and cook Sounds at the same like time. Sounds right? <laughs> so I just cook by myself and no, there's no one to, there to capture it as evidence. So I'm just filming it so you can see him cooking, but I do it too. And as always, I have a code for you, and it's a really good one, if I do say so myself. Go to hellofresh.com and use my code 80, Karen Britchick, I will leave it here on the screen for you. And that gives you $80 off your first five boxes of HelloFresh. And that includes free shipping on your first box. You're very welcome. And it's quite easy, actually. Very easy, actually, you'd be surprised. Yeah. A lot of dishes are actually very easy, and that's what I love about their recipes, because it actually shows you how to make it, and then you think to yourself, oh, God, I can do that. Yeah. Like when we did the lobster. Just all the workroom 
Yeah. The it's, light, everything. It's, it's fantastic. Can't complain. I don't know about this big tree shrub, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a big tree shrub. This is, this is art. Oh, I know you don't like it. I think it's crazy. All right, leave a comment below. Am I crazy? God, I shouldn't have even asked. That's like, <laughs> that's asking for it. Leave a comment below. Am I crazy? Obviously, everything, everyone's going to say yes. Also, another good thing about the HelloFresh is that they've donated over 2.5 million meals to charity in 2019. Um, and this year, they're stepping up their food donations amid the, the coronavirus. So, that's, that's really good. That's really good, actually. Little bam, bam. <laughs> Did you just... He's <laughs> throwing, <laughs> throwing stuff at the camera. I'm going to eat. Cut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Don't forget, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 80 Karen Britchick to get $80 off your first five boxes and free shipping on your first box, your first order. So there you go. What are you doing? You're throwing ice cubes. Okay, so for the bathroom, now it is the guest bathroom that we renovated and I wanted to have it sort of relatively cost effective but make it more functional. Um, what's the square footage of the bathroom roughly? Because it's quite small. About 30? It's pretty, it's pretty small. 30, 30 square foot? Okay, so that's the bathroom size we're dealing with. There was no counter space. That is the biggest thing that we wished and i wished i had without without further, without further ado. ado okay so this is the small bathroom that michael and i used to use all the time when we rented upstairs to tenants now that we've taken over the whole house this we have a bathroom still upstairs it's a bit bigger this one we're keeping on a lower level and zero counter space i mean that that is the counter space there's nothing um and this is what we used for years and it's an absolute state recording what it looks like now before we change everything um yeah so bye wish us luck as well and then we also just have a off the wall uh, faucet yeah wall mount wall mount faucet and this freestanding sink we've never had one of those i've always loved them and is that something that's available to link as well i'm not yeah. sure yeah we can link to everything okay. with the exception of this vanity uh vanity, vanity? i was like what, what the heck is a vanity with the exception <laughs> of this vanity so this wood counter, I call it. You call it a vanity. I call yeah, it a vanity. counter. I call it. It's a countertop. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's a vanity anyway? A vanity is what sits underneath a sink and it's... allows for storage. <laughs> so this is the bathroom now. Um, it's. We basically kept the orientation of the toilet exactly where it was but this time we updated it to a floating toilet the tank is buried into the wall and we wanted this because it just gives the illusion of a little bit more floor space tiling wise we went with that herringbone you guys saw you guys saw the herringbone already and so we just thought it was beautiful michael right yeah it came out really really good um so i thought that was really um, a nice touch and then we removed the bathtub and we went with a freestanding shower and we went with black hardware because we loved that contrast of matte black and we kept that throughout the bathroom as a theme and we also added this recessed style shelving that goes all the way left to right for any of your products whilst you're having a shower. For the plug, for the drainage area, Michael loved this really long style drain system. So we had that put in and the guy who did the tiling, by the way, it's the same guy who did the tiling for our hallway he also tiled for us here 
and uh, we picked up this tiling from a local tiling store in Queens and we wanted something that was kind of uh, modern had like a concrete vibe this is something that Michael I know you particularly wanted right yeah I like the, I wanted to have sort of like a concrete look without concrete <laughs> so you want something that's gonna obviously let the water run off of it but it's nice it gives that matte look a linear drain so that goes oh, all yeah. the way across the back yeah that looks nice really, that does look like a nice I've never seen that mm -hmm. before actually maybe just in the hotel but mm -hmm. I've never seen it um, and then like obviously I mentioned the the shelving here which we really wanted and uh, the only thing that's not in here is the glass partition which will be here in a couple of weeks but we're actually going to have obviously a glass partition here and that's going to go all the way up it's actually a customized size because this room is actually taller Michael had uh, the ceilings raised so now it's about what it's 10 feet yeah so it's 10 foot ceilings and because it was lower before so that alone just makes a small bathroom and just feel much bigger also we kept the theme of black hardware throughout so we got this round mirror from home goods and wait for it this was 99 dollars for this round mirror and i still can't get over it where are you going where are you hiding <laughs> i can't get over it because it's such a good it look at it it just looks so much more expensive i think than what it actually is and um michael it's amazing what a black paint can do yeah Michael sprayed it uh, with matte black spray paint. We will link it below mm -hmm. in the description box. There goes the bell. <laughs> um, but it was originally like a, a light gray color, but it looks so much better in, in our opinion in this matte black. And I was looking at round mirrors, remember? Crate and barrel with the, the gold lamp, table lamp and the round mirror. Anyway, so to get this for 99 bucks from Home Goods and spray it, was fantastic so we got this um made at i'll put the name on the screen because i'm not if it's not sure if it's brooklyn reclaimed or the other place right yeah so i'll put the name on the screen of, so um, m, m fine lumber is the company who we got the lumber from okay and then i had this assembled by another company right exactly but you already saw and i'll put you i'll show you on the screen as well cutaways of when the place we went to to pick up this wood um, we wanted something that looked very, very distressed because we knew that this room was going to be very contemporary looking and sleek. Um, and to contrast with that modern look, I wanted something that looked very kind of just very rustic. And this is just, it's fantastic. Look at that. All solid wood, exactly what we wanted. And that's 16 inches. That's okay. a very wide slab, which is very unusual. Right. That's a good point to mention. We didn't have to have this cut. Or this... laminate it. Most people right. laminate these tops because the strips of wood aren't wide enough to accommodate for a sink. We actually found a piece of wood that's 16 inches wide. And it was just naturally that way? Not, well, not naturally, it was, yes. It's just rare to find wood cut that size. Right, that's what I mean. Okay, so yeah, so that was, a, that was good for us. And then we just had this open idea, this open concept, which I also liked as well. Um, and just for storage where we will put our towels here. Also, the toilet roll, the bog roll is right there. We kept it oh, hidden. I just realized I have to touch that up. Yes. So another tip is because she's down low and she can see this now, I'm going to paint this black as well. Right. So this will have a matte black look so that it'll yeah. match. <laughs> it'll all go together. Yeah, that's great. So very pleased with this. Um, yeah, and this wasn't, how much was this to get the wood? I'll put on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I'll put on the screen to let you know. Um, but this sink as well, that was about roughly, can't remember? No. Was it under 100 or yes, over 100? Under 100. It was under 100 to get this sink. And yeah, I this think- was a budget, This was a budget bathroom, hence why you're seeing, you know, $100 sink, $100 mirror. And the full set, know, the tap. Reclaimed wood. I you think know, this the, also. The tap wasn't too bad, actually. It's a Delta tap, though, because you don't want to cheap out when you go with uh, plumbing. Any right. type of your, your hardware plumbing, you don't want to go cheap. You don't want to spend $1,000, but I think that might have been a little over $100 for the Delta faucet. Yeah. So, again, you know. And, again, we didn't go with the double, because you can... I've seen uh, faucets where they have, you know, hot and cold, one on each side, but you were saying that it's cost more to do that is that right to have well, like the double will be more, yeah. right it will, it will cost more 
Um, so we just did with uh, the one side and that's fine. It looks great. And uh, this is not Aesop, this is Home Goods <laughs> for, the, for the hand soap. There was a window right here. Okay, and I'm going to show you footage. It was buried. We didn't know it was there until we renovated this bathroom, but somebody had buried a window and it's still there. We covered over it and we just put a window up uh, there. It's not there anymore. Oh, you took it out? We took it out and closed it up. You can't just leave a, a window and a wall hidden like that. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did we take it out? Well, we took it out because it was going to be in way of the shower because it kind of slightly bled into the shower a little bit. Okay. Um, and it was very small and narrow, sort of like right in the middle of the room, which was kind of strange. So anyway, my idea was to lift it up, give us more wall space, and have the uh, window up top go horizontal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why it is where it is. Now, um, we were going to go, well, I suggested going all the way to the shower with it, like making one long window. Correct, which I thought would be a nice idea. And it would have been fantastic, but the only problem with that is four to six weeks to get a window. Yeah. That size. Yeah, to go all the way across. That's strange. <laughs> Home Depot has this sitting on the shelf. This one. For how much was it, Karen? Um, it was $70. like seventy dollars versus four hundred. Versus four hundred. Four hundred for that window. We would have waited four to six weeks right. for a custom window that goes all the way across um, for four hundred dollars, or we take this one for seventy dollars. <laughs> so. And construction starts right away. Yeah, so we took this one. It's a guest bathroom, it's fine. And we can always down the road if we want, if we really want to. Yeah, of course. We, could, we can take this window out and just get a long one that goes all... I think it's great for what it That is. goes all the way across. From a budget perspective. Yeah, I agree. Oh, well, we should show the detail of this nickel. A nice little touch is um, Schluter strips, basically, are what they use to cover up the edge of tiles. And the reason why you do that is so that you have a nice clean edge. Right. If you didn't, you would have a, you know, you'd have it shown there. You so what we did it. is we used a Sluter slip down here, and this is out of nickel. Okay. So nickel isn't quite silver, and it isn't quite like a brass. It's like a, a Just in neutral. between, right? Right, okay. And then we did it along the base here as well. And we used the original tiles that we did for the wall. Most people use marble saddles that separate a shower. Mm. The reason why I did this is it saves a little bit more money because a marble saddle would be more expensive than just adding some tiles from sewer strips. Oh, so like, it keeps the cost down. Yeah, this would be at least 150 bucks yeah. on, on, on a marble, uh, sorry, on a marble slab. This with the sluter strip and the, and the tiles probably cost us about 30 $40. Oh, that's a massive difference. Also, the herringbone, we didn't carry all the way across price-wise because this is this is quite expensive. This yeah, style. this is, you know, um, when you, you still want to have something nice. So you splurge in certain areas, but the areas that you splurge in, you know, don't, don't go overboard. And yeah. it's kind of like what we did here. Like this tile, I think, is about $20 a square foot, right. which is pretty expensive. Um, and we got it, I think, for about 17 from our local guy instead of going through the big store. Yeah. Because remember, the big store had it for 20 Yeah. Anyway, so that's very relatively expensive compared. But then when you go into the shower area, rather than trying to use the same expensive one, we went with the Home Depot one that was like $1.99. Right. A square, wow. A square foot. That's a massive difference. So another tip is, I mean, that's just a saving just on the price. Um, but if you've got the budget for it, obviously you just go all the way across. It's, you know, it all depends on your budget. This saddle has been changed to white, by the way, so <laughs> this isn't supposed to be black. Um, and also the grout. Do you want to mention two things? One is the ceiling of the grout. And also we picked grout color that was, wasn't it the same? Right. We used the same grout color for the floor that we did for the wall. Not that that's important. I think what's important is you always want to try and pick up what you refer to as the darker color in your tile or the lightest color in your tile one or the other right so we picked up the lighter color so that it creates a nice sort of and that's why i said i wanted that concrete look so that's why it kind of mm -hmm. gives that look if you wanted it to blend in and almost be seamless mm -hmm. you would go with like a darker color so you would pick up the darker color in here right so it would disappear around. more but we've got very subtle lines but it's not stark white either so it doesn't like pop Right. But it's just very subtle div divisions I between it's the like large a silver gray that we use. Yeah, so it worked well. And we did the same grout color, mm -hmm. right, for yeah. the floor um, tiling of the shower. 
right? And then, of course, after you do the grouting, you seal it. Um, yeah. The sealer and is what protects it from getting stains or anything like that. Right. The wall's not crazy important so much as it is the floor. Floor is very important to seal. And also, sealing, I just want to, that thought was a good point to remember because we've got tiling in the kitchen, subway tiling, tiling in this bathroom now, new tiling, and we've got tiling, remember the black and white tiling, in our hallway. So sealant, adding a sealant is really important because when we did like, for example, like the subway tiling in the kitchen, uh, and it's all white, because we did white tiles with white grout. Uh, a couple of you sent me messages saying, oh, how do you keep that clean? It's gonna be hard to keep clean because the grout's gonna get dirty. And I asked a couple of you, did you use sealant? And you said no. Now. That's really an important step to do because the sealant does exactly what it says, which is it helps to um, just act as a barrier you and protect. It, it protects the grout from getting stains, um, dirt, things like that. So you can go back and wipe it down clean afterwards and it, yeah. brings, and it comes back white. Um, get a very good sealant though. Yes. The sealant is almost like a clear acrylic for your nails. But it doesn't last long, and I say long, like, you know, it'll last a year, maybe two. Okay. But that's it. Depends on the usage of the place. Mm. And a shower, if it gets used a lot, you're going to want to do this every year. Gotcha. You know, if it's in a, like, the shower walls and... And the kitchen, too. If you use you know, that kitchen area all the time, every, every day... Day. Every year, you every want to year, go back and update the the the, uh, the sealant. The sealant. And we do have a really good one. Michael has one that he recommends because you said that there was one that's around that you can you just you can just well, you buy, can buy any it, yeah you can buy it from Home Depot, but the Home Depot one is not going to hold up as well as the other ones. And it's, there's a big price difference as well. But you want to protect. If you have white grout, it's worth the extra money for that because it's going to keep it white. Right. Okay. And we'll put it on the screen. Um, the one that you recommend and I'll leave a link for it below. So what was your thinking? What's your thinking behind having this here versus usually you see it right under the shower head, correct? Right. right. So why did you put it over here instead? Well, we have our glass petition, which obviously isn't here now. Right, but, but we will be getting one. It will stop here. So when you walk in to go and take a shower, do you want to walk in? Under, under the, the shower here, underneath the shower? Hold on. It's, it's, it's not focused. Yep. Do you want to walk here and turn the shower on underneath? And get surprised? Yeah, with cold water. <laughs> or do you want to just come here and turn the shower this way? All right. Oh, that's the first time I've seen it on. <laughs> right, you can just turn it off from there. Obviously, yeah. And you have this. So you can. <laughs> That's another tip that's great with these. What? To wash down the bathroom. Oh right, just to, to clean the, the shower afterwards mm -hmm. as well. It's a good, after you've cleaned your ass. <laughs> I'm so chuffed about the mirror though, the way it came out. Yeah, it came out really good. Yeah, that was a really good find at HomeGoods, I have to say because um, I honestly was looking for a round mirror. This is 40 inches diameter, so it's a nice, it's a good size. Um, and we went with round because we thought it was a nice contrast to the squareness of the counter, or vanity as you call it. Spraying it that matte black was a great idea because it just unifies the hardware of the bath. So what were the ceiling heights originally? How was it before, the original ceiling height? Um, about eight feet. He added Two feet. About two feet, so that's why it looks so much. Um, it gives the illusion of the bathroom looking much bigger than it is because we've raised the ceiling to its maximum. Because the original owners they dropped the ceiling, don't know why, but they did. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I just realized the biggest thing that we did, we didn't say it the door. Well, the door's not there, yeah, I know, but the three. The door, the door is the biggest oh, thing. Right. Some pictures of how the, the bathroom looked before, but there was no room to have this, by the way. There was no room for a counter because this door frame that you're seeing right here, right? It was actually over here originally, right? So if it's over here, there's no space, obviously, to put a counter in, right? Or even a sink, because the door was here. So what Michael decided was, because I said, I've always wanted to have a counter in this small bathroom. So, tell everyone what you did. I'll speak for you. I took this door and moved it over 
about 10 inches. Right, so originally it was... Actually about a foot. It was about right here. See where this pipe is? It was right here. Yeah, we moved it over. So this, that's how much we moved this door over. And when he moved it over, because he just, you had this, this was, such, this was a genius idea, I have to say. When we moved the door over, that... that is the 16 inches that we needed. That gave us this area right here. 17. Created this area that allowed for a counter to be here because we created wall space basically by moving the door over. I thought that was such a great idea. And also the pricing of it, because I always imagine that's a very expensive thing to do. Right, you're just moving over the existing door frame. So you just have to have somebody with carpentry skills, but at the end of the day, you just cut out the existing door frame. And it shift over, it. Frame it back in where you, where you shifted it. And, it's, and how much was that roughly? Okay, labor. right, so it's basically just the labor oh, cost yeah. because if you've already got a good bathroom door, you're not, you're not buying more materials. It's very, it's very little material that you have to buy. You might have to buy a little extra sheetrock, some mud and tape and floating, that kind of stuff, but you can reuse your existing joint uh, framing, door, everything, you're just moving it over. If you've got a similar layout to this, kit, to this bathroom um, and you don't have counter space either, it's something to consider is moving your door frame. Think about that as part of the idea when it comes to just renovating a bathroom period, don't let things the way they are set up dictate how you want it to look. Mm -hmm. You have the ability to move and change everything. You know, we moved our drain. The drain was against the wall. What drain? This drain. Oh, shower. right, the drain in the shower. That was originally against the wall. So in order to get it from it was there. the wall to there, you have to move that drain. So we moved the drain from there to, to there, there, to the side. Okay, that's true. Um, and then ceiling, if, I mean, that's if you know that you have that extra ceiling space, but we did know that, so that's why we increased the ceiling and made it um, much taller, which I don't know if that's even coming across on camera, it probably isn't, but walking into, imagine if, you, if you've got a small bathroom or a small room, um, imagine increasing by two, two feet the ceiling, right, height, you will notice the difference and it gives the illusion that this room is so much bigger than it actually is. And your is. tall friends will notice the difference. <laughs> yes, they will. So I'm glad we did that.